T. Higgins, the man who Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin tackled moments before collapsing with a cardiac arrest on the field and being rushed to hospital in a critical condition, led the outpouring of well wishes for the 24-year-old late Monday night. Hamlin tackled Bengals receiver T. Higgins in the first quarter and got up briefly before falling backwards to the ground and laying motionless. An ambulance drove onto the field after four minutes to treat the 24-year-old. He needed CPR and treatment from a defibrillator. He was then rushed to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center and Hamlin's friend and marketing representative Jordan Rooney said on Twitter, his vitals are back to normal and they have put him to sleep to put a breathing tube down his throat. They are currently running tests. We will provide updates as we have them. Higgins led the well wishes sent to Hamlin on Twitter, writing, my prayers and thoughts go out to at Hamlin Island the Hamlin family. I'm praying that you pull through bro. Love. Hamlin was surrounded by players from both sides and treated for 16 minutes before being immobilized and taken off the field. Players on both teams were visibly stunned by what had happened and many were in tears on the field. The game was postponed by the NFL. Teammate Stefan Diggs later joined Hamlin at the hospital. About 100 Bills fans and a few Bengals fans gathered on a corner one block from the emergency room entrance with some of them holding candles. While medical personnel were gathered around Hamlin, his playing uniform was cut off. Hamlin's agent Ira Turner told NFL Network, please continue to pray for DeMar and his family. We currently have no update at this time. We'll ask that you keep the family in your prayers. Higgins, the man Hamlin was tackling, tweeted, my prayers and thoughts go out to at Hamlin Island, and, the Hamlin family. I'm praying that you pull through bro. Love. A statement released by the league read, Hamlin received immediate medical attention on the field by team and independent medical staff and local paramedics. He was then transported to a local hospital where he is in critical condition. Our thoughts are with Damar and the Buffalo Bills. We will provide more information as it becomes available. The NFL has been in constant communication with the NFL Players Association which is in agreement with postponing the game. Bill's players were visibly praying for their teammate after he was driven away. According to ESPN, Hamlin's family, including his mom Nina, were watching the game and came down to be with him as he left in the ambulance. During the lengthy ordeal, the ESPN Monday Night Football broadcast cut to commercial on four occasions as Hamlin was receiving treatment. After the ambulance had left the field, reports initially suggested the game was going to restart following a five-minute warm-up, prompting an outpouring of anger on social media. Both sides were visibly distressed by the situation, with the emotions of Hamlin's teammates Diggs and Josh Allen among those shown on camera. Please pray for our brother, Bills quarterback Allen tweeted while players from across the league took to social media with similar messages. Emotions also ran high for ESPN's broadcast crew, as analyst Booger McFarland offered an important bit of perspective. When you bring CPR out, you're trying to help someone breathe. We're talking life or death now, he said. That's real. What we do is just a game. When you involve life and death, it's totally different. No one's been through this, longtime NFL quarterback Troy Aikman added. I've never seen anything like it, either. ESPN senior NFL insider Adam Schefter weighed in as well, saying, it is all about this young man and how he's doing. Everybody is thinking and praying for him, every team, every player, every individual, everybody who's watching Monday Night Football, everybody who tuned in to see this highly anticipated game, nobody cares about that right now. Footage emerged later of Hamlin's ambulance arriving at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. The 24-year-old Hamlin spent five years of college at Pitt, his hometown, and appeared in 48 games for the Panthers over that span. He was a second-team All-ACC performer as a senior, was voted a team captain and was picked to play in the Senior Bowl. He was drafted in the sixth round by the Bills in 2021, played in 14 games as a rookie and then became a starter this year once Micah Hyde was lost for the season to injury. Entering the game, the 6-foot, 200-pound Hamlin had 91 tackles, including 63 solo tackles, and and one-and-a-half sacks. Hamlin started a toy drive back in December 2020 to purchase toys for children ahead of the holidays. An hour after Hamlin was hurt, it had received donations totaling over $1 million. I am praying for you and your family. Praying hard for a miracle. You have to come back and do bigger things. You aren't done yet, wrote one fan, who donated $150.
Another said, sending love and prayers from a Seahawks fan. We're all a part of Bill's Nation tonight. Hamlin is also renowned as a family man. On November 20, when the Bills played the Browns, Hamlin was filmed running over to hug his mom, Nina, before the start of the game. Jenna Cottrell, a Bills reporter for Buffalo Plus, tweeted the video with the caption, Damar Hamlin gets in a second to hug his mom, Nina and family pregame. Always gotta make time for mom.